okay now what i'm trying to tell you is about the totem pole output so it will remove the shortcomings of uh, basic ttl nand gate and you can see i have marked in black what the change i have done rest of the circuit is as it is and remember these values are fixed standard values okay so you have to remember them 4 kilo ohm 100 ohm 1.4 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm here the voltage will be 5 volt transistor t1 t2 t3 t4 now i have here a diode and transistor combination and this will remove our shortcomings of basic ttl nand gate now i'm going to show you how it works and you will get convinced that uh, that uh, that uh, how it is changing the uh, the the shortcomings so if any of the input is low or both the input is low for example 0.2 volt 0.2 volt or 0.2 volt 5 volt or 5 volt 0.2 volt if any of this input you will apply here what will happen your transistor t1 will be inactive you know that from here it will be a path right so it will be a forward bias and it will be reverse bias because you need 1.7 1 1.7 uh, 1. uh, 0.7 0.7 so 1.4 you want but you are not getting it because 0 0.2 plus 0 0.7 is 0.9 so this junction will be reverse bias this junction will be forward bias hence t1 is in active region similar to before now since it is in active region it will provide uh, it will uh, take some current from here uh, from t2 that means it is uh, removing charges from base means t2 will be in cutoff if this guy is in cutoff it will not provide current at its emitter and if it is not providing current at its emitter this guy will not get any current hence this will also be in cutoff both are in cutoff but the reasons are different this guy is in active region now what will happen to this guy so that is what we have to see right so this is in active this these two guys are in cutoff so whatever the current will flow from vcc to 1.4 kilo ohm resistor will not go into this direction because it is cut off all the current will flow in this direction and it will be sufficient enough to drive the t4 transistor into saturation and if this guy is in saturation you will have this path right saturation from this you will see current flowing and this will be forward biased so your output will be high okay you can see that this is anyway in 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 uh, in cut off right from top the y will get the output so again i am telling t2 and t3 are cut off all the current will flow from this 1.4 kilo ohm resistor will go into t4 transistor and t4 will get into saturation and if it is getting in saturation it will provide a path here and it will become forward biased and uh, it will provide current to whatever connected to y okay so that is how y is uh, receiving high output so any of the input is low or both the input is low output is high now here one more thing i want to uh, mention is base resistance will get reflected to emitter for t4 okay when y will look up in that direction your diode is in forward bias so forward bias resistance you you can imagine and this base resistance will get reflected to emitter side so it will get divided by beta and all so it will be very less so when y will look up it will see a less resistance which is what we wanted right so that it can charge any capacitor connected to the y uh, fastly okay so this is how it will work now i'm going to show you second part where both the inputs are high then what will happen okay now what will happen when you will apply both the inputs are high so here you can see when both the inputs are high you can see here uh, your t1 will be in reverse active you are already aware of that because this guy is uh, reverse biased and from here you will be having forward biased right so this will be in reverse active means this will be behaving as a collector and this will be behaving as emitter so this will be providing current to t2 sufficient enough so that it will go into saturation and since it is in saturation it will provide emitter current emitter current will partly go to one kilo ohm resistor and most of the current will go to t3 okay so t3 will also get sufficient current so that it will go to saturation and since both of these are in saturation and this in reverse active what will happen to this transistor you can see uh i'll try to explain if this is in saturation your y will be receiving 0.2 volt 
right this this point will be 0.2 volt right 0.2 volt is from here to here right from here to ground 0.2 volt because this guy is in saturation if this is in saturation vb on will be something like 0.7 or 0.8 let me assume 0.8 this voltage right now this is also in saturation so what will be this point voltage 0.2 plus 0.8 right if you will come like this to ground 0.8 and 0.2 so uh, what will be 0.8 plus 0.2 is 1 volt right around 1 volt you will have here now what will happen you can see at this point you are having 1 volt and at this point you are having 0.2 volt right so if you will take the difference of it 1 volt minus 0.2 volt is 0.8 volt total you are having 0.8 volt across this this uh, difference between this point and this point but what you are having here you are having a transistor with some 0 0.7 cut, uh, cut in voltage plus also you have diode which is also having 0 0.7 cut in voltage total you are having almost 1.4 cut in voltage and you are applying across this 0.8 so none of the pn junctions will get forward biased i neither this nor this so what will happen they will be in off state this guy will be in off you will say cut off and this guy will be reverse biased right so your output will be connected to here only means output is low 0 0.2 volt you see that so what i did initially this was 0 0.2 volt right because this is in saturation saturation on voltage will be somewhere 0 0.7 0 0.75 or 0 0.8 i am assuming 0 0.8 so he this guy is also in uh, saturation so 0.2 plus 0.8 will give me the voltage between this point and ground okay so 1 volt between this point and this ground it is 0.2 volt now what will be the difference between these two is point, uh, 1 minus 0.2 is 0 0.8 0 0.8 volt here which is not sufficient enough to drive or switch on this diode as well as transistor t4 hence they both will be in off and why we will see a very high resistance upwards okay that's what i have written so we have achieved the function of nand as well as we have we are able to remove the shortcomings this is what we want when the output is going from high to low we want high resistance here because this is in saturation and when the output is going from low to high we want this resistance to act as uh, low resistance so that it can charge the capacitor whatever is connected fastly right so we have achieved our our uh, uh, requirement and this this arrangement is, is is an active arrangement active pull up you call it as because it pulls up the output and this guy is a pull down element pulls down the output right so it is active it is changing its resistance looking from the output side according to the need so this is what totem pole output means now i'm gonna solve a problem uh, numerically you will see everything uh, working and you will get convinced uh, enough so that um, uh, this problem is being removed by this totem pole type of output so we'll solve a numerical now and then we want to move on okay so what i'm doing is i'm trying uh, uh, to tell you the the characteristics here of totem pole output now i'm skipping the numerical part because uh, i have seen the numerical and it's not uh, uh, means like it, it is not worth it to <laughs> tell you guys and uh, basically whatever i have told you in the process that's that's what you have to follow always and you will get the voltages and currents i realize that and uh, there is nothing much uh, to to tell you again the same thing through a numerical so there it was not worth it and it was time consuming as well so i skipped it uh, you can you can find in any textbook or something means like it's not important you should know, know the working that's all i think so with that i'm uh, moving towards characteristics advantage and disadvantage of uh, total pole output uh, so ttl circuit we have seen all the story and all everything you should be remembering from dtl i started i built the knowledge for ttl then i went to modified ttl and from modified ttl i went to totem pole okay and i'm showing you the characteristic advantage disadvantages so here you can see the basic gate is nand we already saw that the propagation delay and uh, power dissipation will be 10 nanosecond and 10 milliwatt fom will be the product 100 picojoule uh, noise margin will be around 0.4 volts 
and fan out will be around 10 okay so that's the specifications or characteristics of this circuit advantage is it is fast and less power consuming you can see that it resolves the impedance issue what we had before to impedance issues and disadvantage is uh, here you cannot uh, wire end the outputs okay in total pole, poles uh, totem pole circuits the you take one output you take another totem pole circuit its output connect both of them you can't expect ended output okay that is what you can't do uh, you have another circuit for that that is ttl open collector okay that will be studying next so that will be specifically used for wire ending okay uh, why 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 we can't uh, connect the two outputs of totem pole because uh, it will provide a large current flow uh, from some region i i'll tell you next uh, why uh, when i'll tell you the motivation for open collector so that is something we'll be focusing on next uh, how we can pro perform wire ending through ttl uh, that's where open collector you have to uh, get okay another disadvantage is uh, you saw that uh, transistor t4 and t3 right t4 was like this uh, then at the diode was there and uh, at the down you had one t3 this was t3 this was t4 now what happens is uh, the t4 the turn off time is more slow than t3 turn on okay when this guy is turning on this guy will be slowly switching off at some point of time they both will be on t4 and t3 and this will allow the current from going from vcc to ground very large current this will happen for very less uh, period of time but it happens the because the turn off time is uh, slower than uh, the turn off uh, turn on time of t3 turn off time of t4 is slower than turn on, on time of t3 at some point of time both of them will be on and it will allow the current to flow from vcc to ground very large current for a very short period of time so you will get some current spikes in this okay so that is one of the disadvantage in a totem pole now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move towards open collector that is remaining that is also a part of ttl but that is specifically for this thing if you have to wire end or you have to perform wire ending then uh, you, you you have to use it okay that's where totem pole will not work and i'll show you how it is not working okay so let's move on to that